Hello, I've had a breakdown on a Beta Hi-Fi video recorder. Let's have a look at this problem. It's a Sony SLHF100 and our problem is as follows. We'll put the tape in. And it's making some odd noises. Sometimes it will complete lacing. And other times it won't. And it won't give me my tape back. Okay, clearly we have a failure of the loading mechanism. Screws out, screws off this uh, metal plate at the top. I'll get you looking down on it. Right, let's switch it on. The tape should be lacing. It managed to eject the tape. Now the mechanism here we've discussed in the past is a little bit complicated. There's a planetary gear in here and the solenoid which activates the pinch roller also directs power via this um, planetary gear either to the top belt here for the front loading mechanism or down through a set of gears to the loading ring here and that I believe is what's failed and I believe what goes on here there's a shaft goes to the bottom and there's a plastic gear on the bottom of that shaft and it splits and so it has very little drive power to the uh, loading ring so I need to take this assembly off Right, there's a spring here which needs to be refitted later. And I believe this is probably the problem. It has indeed split be nice if we could get hold of a replacement um, part, but I won't, so I'm going to have to glue that on. Let's look at that under the microscope. So here's our broken part, and as a result of that split, it can spin on the shaft like that, so it's not providing the torque it needs. Uh, so all I really can do is glue that on. Well, I glued it together, but I'm not happy. The split, of course, means that there's a excessively wide gap on one tooth of that gear, and I think that the tooth spacing is too wide on that gap, and it just isn't going to run. And I tried running it against the plastic gear it's supposed to mesh with, and it's uh, sort of jamming up every rotation. So that I don't believe is going to work for us. I obtained another one of these gears from a scrap video recorder and it's also split but it was nowhere near as bad. So I think that one's serviceable so I've applied some glue on the end to strengthen it and hopefully prevent the split that's in there from getting any worse but it looks in much better shape so I think that will mesh properly with the plastic gear it's supposed to uh, work with. I think we've got a chance of making that work. Let's reassemble it. It is a bit fiddly and it's a while since I've reassembled one of these so uh, wish me luck. Okay, so we have the uh, shaft there with the plastic gear at the bottom. I don't know if you can quite see that, but the black plastic gear is at the bottom there. Clipped onto the top, and we have to reassemble all of this. Okay, I've put it together. Whether I've got everything correctly assembled, we're about to find out. Let's uh, switch it on. 
So far, so good. And eject. Excellent. Well, everyone likes a nice uh, Beta Hi-Fi video recorder, so I'm glad that's uh, been brought back to life. The display is a little bit dim on this one, not a great deal we can do about that. But uh, at least the machine is fully working again. You may have seen me working in the past on this. It's an SLF1 portable Betamax video recorder. But actually this wasn't the first portable video recorder on the Betamax format. There was the Sony SL3000. And I had one of those, but it was uh, done just before I started YouTubing. I had one of those in and I repaired it and sold it. Bit of a shame really, I never got to show you the uh, SL3000 Betamax video recorder. Special delivery. Oh, what could be in this? Typically these were used with uh, Sony Trinicon cameras. Uh, they've got no, no value now, but uh, it'd be quite interesting to show you uh, the Trinicon camera. Oh, right. Let's investigate the contents of these boxes. So we have the SL3000 portable video recorder and its power supply. But there's also a operating instructions to a camcorder here. So we'll have a uh, Sony Handycam CCD F340 here, video 8. And finally, the Sony HVC2000P, which is a tube camera for use with the portable video recorder. That has a, a Sony type camera connector, which can be used with a lot of video recorders, not just portables, but uh, mains machines such as the SLC7, the SLC9, and even some Sanyo uh, beta video recorders. So uh, we'll give that a go when we've got some of this equipment up and running. Let's put this back in its box for now though. Well, just for laughs, we'll uh, try the camcorder initially. Power on. I'm not seeing any activity from here, this at all. So that's plugged into the outlet. It all looks rather dead because this would be the power switch here and expect at least something on the display. So that appears to have died. Uh, we could just check that we do have voltage on here. 7.37 volts. Well, it says it's supposed to be 7.5. I think that's close enough. I'll hook this up to an external power supply, but I really don't think the problem is in the power supply. Try that again, seven and a half volts. and absolutely nothing is happening. And my power supply reports that there's no current draw. So, um, may have popped an internal fuse. Let's try this. This certainly won't work. It'll need belts at the very least, maybe some capacitors, but uh, let's see if we can get any life out of it at all. Switch on the mains input, then power on. Lights up. If there's any life, we should hear it at least attempt to lace up. It sounds like it has laced up. Very nice. Fast forward. Failing to fast forward. Rewind will be the same then. Play. Sounds like the drum spinning up. But this the spools are not turning, so it's effectively in pause. I'd have expected it to have shut down. 
Do that again. Pause. Okay, that is supposed to be in pause now. Release it. How are you supposed to release it? So it seems to have real drive trouble. Look at it there. So stop. Fast forward. Oh, it's attempting fast forward now. Rewind. And play. Ah, that's interesting. So listen, you hear the motor spinning. If I go stop fast forward, it'll fast forward for as long as it takes the motor to slow down. So presumably rewind will be the same. So I go play, and I go stop rewind. It'll rewind until the motor slows down. So when we're hitting fast forward, it's not starting the motor for some reason. No battery, which is probably a good thing. And in here we have a, a channel selector because it has a modulator built in. You see that the pause light is not working now. Oh, now it is. And what about record pause? And eject is okay. Ejects the tape without damage. Well, it's worth us uh, having a little bit of a look at that later, isn't it? Well, I hope you've enjoyed us working on some beta equipment. I also have the Super Beta video recorder, which I've been meaning to work on again for a long time. And I've done a bit on that, uh, and it still doesn't work, but we'll uh, visit that in a future video. Now, I've had some comments about the beta versus VHS, the world in which beta won video. I knew that would uh, stir people up a little bit. Uh, and coincidentally, uh, Technology Connections did a video on a similar subject. Our takes are different. He says, Beta Max, domestic beta, and Beta Cam are not the same. Well, I didn't say they were the same. Uh, and he argues that there effectively is no connection between Beta and Beta Cam, and so Beta didn't score any points there at all. I argue that beta, domestic beta and beta cam are part of the same family in the same way as M2 is related to VHS. It's a derivation of the other format. So that's just a matter of opinion. But technically we actually agreed on all the same sort of things. We both talked about M and M2 uh, as well as beta domestic beta and uh, beta cam, beta cam SP and more. So uh, there wasn't a disagreement in what we were saying, merely a difference of opinion on whether beta cam uh, is a development of beta max. And uh, I think most people would say it is, but you can have your own opinion on that. Right, I hope you've enjoyed what we've done today. I'll do plenty more content on audio and video technology in the near future. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.